Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we are going to talk about that planned national emergency over the border wall and, uh, and how that's going to play out if it does. And, but before we get into that, I want to... Uh, <laughs> we have to establish two things that are really important to this conversation, so we need to get them out there up front. First, border apprehensions, which are the metric that Border Patrol uses to determine the flow along the southern border, are at a 40-year low. 40-year low. Um, and have been for a number of years. The other thing we need to establish is uh, the Constitution of the United States lays out a process for funding projects. It's uh, Article 1, Section 9, Clause 7. Okay, so now that those things are out there, we need to recap a little bit of history. So he ran with promises of bringing back prosperity and making the country great, great again. He talked about the supremacy of, of our military and how he's going to build it up. He, uh, <laughs> he said that we weren't taken seriously on the international stage anymore and that he could fix that. And he got elected. He got elected. The international community, in the beginning, they laughed at him. He was a laughing stock because he's ridiculous. And then it didn't take him long to realize that, uh, well, his unpredictable nature made him somebody they had to watch. Uh, and it didn't take him long to realize that the country wasn't set up the way he wanted. He didn't have the power he needed to make all the changes that he wanted and, and to fulfill the promises that he had made. So when the Reichstag burned, he declared a national emergency. Yeah, I'm not talking about Trump. I'm talking about Hitler. No, it's hard to tell the difference sometimes. You know, people said that comparison is played out. It's not. There's a reason almost every expert on fascism makes the comparison. It's because Trump's a fascist. Fascism doesn't mean, oh, he says mean things. And, you know, he has violent rhetoric. That's not what fascism is. Fascism has 14 pretty specific elements. The first of which is what uh, Mussolini and his crew called corporativismo. It's the blending of government and economic power. The second is an overriding disdain for human rights. Water boredom. Go after their families. There's a war with the media and they want to control the media. Fake news. An obsession with crime and punishment. We're talking about the guy who took out a full page ad demanding the execution of people who later turned out to be innocent. An overriding theme of nationalism. The guy said he was a nationalist. Uh... Advocacy for a supreme military. Space Force! We're going to build the greatest, the greatest, the biggest. A paranoid obsession with national security. Sound familiar? Scapegoating about groups, sexism, religious propaganda that, you know, scapegoats the, uh, the minority religions in the country. The suppression of labor. A disdain for intellectuals and the arts. <laughs> I think he's trying to sue Saturday Night Live right now. Uh, cronyism. I believe nepotism would probably fall under that. Uh, corruption and fraudulent elections. That's fascism. Even if you're a Trump supporter, you have to admit, yeah, that's pretty accurate. The Constitution of the United States does not allow for the President of the United States to stomp his feet, throw a temper tantrum, and uh, declare a national emergency because Congress didn't do what he wanted. That's the whole point of Congress. It's a check. Checks and balances. Come on, third grade civics here. That's their whole job. That is their whole job, is to make sure that we don't descend into tyranny. Don't descend into a dictatorship. They're supposed to put the brakes on stupid projects. That's their job. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 7 lays out how projects are funded. 
Now, this little national emergency theater, I think it may play out. I think it may play out if Trump, contrary to his character, sticks to his word. It probably will, because nobody in the Democratic Party is stupid enough to vote for a compromise that includes a wall. It'll be the end of their careers in politics. The American people don't want it. So, if he follows through with his threat, we'll see it. And when we see it, you have a choice. And it's the same choice that Germans faced after they backed Hitler in the beginning, when they realized what was going on. They didn't want to face it. They didn't want to admit they'd been duped. They'd been tricked. So they continue to play along. You can do the same thing. The choice is simple. You can support the Constitution of the United States or you can support Mango Mussolini. There is no way to support both anymore. Either you support the Constitution of the United States or you betray it. You're a patriot or a traitor. It's your choice. Doesn't matter if you support what he wants to do. Circumventing Congress, it's a betrayal. It's a betrayal of the very ideas this country was founded on. When that time comes, I hope that you choose to be an August Land Messer or a Sophie Scholl rather than a good German. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.